Parents pay child support, but because you're living with your mother and you needed to pay a bill, that's not her obligation. So when she gave you this money, what was the discussion? I needed money for bills or this and that. And when I came back from Cali, mind you, she's... Just a second. So you came back from California. You're living with your mother. You needed money for bills. What did you say to her? I need money. And she just said, OK, here's $200. Well, when I, before I came back from Cali, she told me she would help me out because she knew that I didn't have a job. I, uh, so you had spoken with her? Yes, I had. And it was your intention to come back. Was it the intention of the two of you to try to make your relationship work? Yes, yeah, she wanted to work it out. That's why I came back, is because she wanted me to come back, saying that I need the money is nothing now, this and that and the other. That now that when I came back, she basically showing that she's not, she's being disloyal, being with other guys, this and that. She want, she asked me to come back from Cali. I came back from Cali and she's showing all her true colors. Like the lady who she really is. Do you have any proof of the money that you gave him? Yes, I have a tech. Do you want to know like him paying me back the money or where the money came from? Let's try both. Okay. Well, yeah, I have text messages from him saying that he would pay me the money back, and the money was not four fifty; it was six fifty. May I see the text messages, please? Sure. It's the text message right under that emoji. Would you show this to Mr. Landrum, please, Bert? Sure. Got it? Yes. Did you ever give the money back to her September 1st? No, ma'am. And we haven't gotten to October yet. Right. Right, good. Okay, you have a counterclaim. Your counterclaim says that she assaulted you, and she assaulted you in June. Right. You want to tell me how that happened? I came back from Cali, you know, because she wanted me to come from... Oh, please, we went through that already. You came back in February. Now we're in June. Okay, uh, when I, okay, when I was in Omaha, when I got back, well, she wanted to be here, me to be there physically. June. So then, like, we talking about June. <laughs> Where were you living in June? In Omaha, Nebraska. With whom? My mother. If I called your mother, would your mother say you were living with her? No. Right, because you know I can do that. So you don't want to be embarrassed, right? Right. Where were you living in June? With my mother. <laughs> if I called your mother, would she say you were living with her in June? Yes, ma'am. What were you doing in the plaintiff's home in June? Um, well, I wasn't working. <laughs> Mr. Landrum, what were you doing in the plaintiff's home in June? Um. I got injured. Had you spent the night there at her home in June? Yes. I have to keep it really, really simple. Did you sleep in the same bedroom in June? Yes, ma'am. And the date of this incident was June 13th. Correct. On June 11th, two days before, did you sleep in Miss Long's home? Yes, ma'am. Goodbye. And goodbye. Ms. Long, your complaint says that you and the defendant had broken up in March. Clearly, when you gave him this money, because he came back from California, or as he refers to it as Cali, when he came back to, from California to Nebraska. And he came back, and you said, it didn't make any difference to me, because we were already broken up. I just loaned him the money because he was the father of my child. I believe him when he said he slept at your house in June. I Both. didn't loan him. I don't mean to interrupt you, Judge, but I didn't loan him that money. Well, I did loan she him the it. money. I did not give him the money. His she mother did. was sick, and he didn't have any money, and his mom was not working at the time. He came to me with this sad story. No. Listen so. to me. He slept at your house in June. You got it? Yeah. That's not being broken up. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. What about my countersuit that I'm... <laughs> what about my countersuit? It's a nice countersuit, Mr. Landon. Goodbye.